What is good, Foundation Nation? We are back with yet another one of your favorite series, Starter Set Challenge. This one we got off eBay. It was 40 bucks for five discs, Coastline Disc Golf. Let's get into it. Boom, you're staying at home. You're bored, you got nothing to do, but you have a phone. So what do you do? Boom, you're in the middle of the ocean. You're stranded. You have three days of food and water, but you also have a phone. What do you do? Boom, you're locked in a missile silo. There's 10 minutes left before it launches, but you only have your phone on you. What do you do? Sure question. The answer is the same for all three. You play Raid Shadow Legends. That's right. Hey, let me Raid know, man. Shut up, man. So every great game has something near the end that's really difficult to get to that you can really dig your teeth in if you want to master it. And in Raid Shadow Legend, it's no different. That end game is the Doom Tower, and let me tell you, it is one heck of a ride. So this huge tower is essentially a giant prison. See, the Arbiter a long time ago found a pack of really bad guys. Wasn't quite strong enough to beat them by herself, so instead she just locked them all in this tower so she could deal with them later. Well, it's been a few thousand years now, so I guess we kind of know how that plan went. But what's even worse now is now that Sierra's leaking back in the world, the Arbiter doesn't have the power to keep the wards up. So it's us to, up to us to actually go in there, knock some heads together, and get things right in the Doom Tower. To climb to the top of the tower, you're really gonna need a super strong army of champions. If you have enough support, the main levels, they're really easy, but the bosses, they're no joke, and you're gonna be really happy you have that strong army surrounding you, because if not, it's not gonna go so well for you. A couple of the bosses even require very specific mechanics required to beat them. One of these is the Scarab King. He actually takes basically no damage unless you reduce his max HP, and if you have no shield buffs on, he's just gonna literally run right through your entire team. I could go on for ages about the ins and outs and the secrets of how to fight these bosses, but the real fun is getting in the game and figuring it out for your Yourself. There's also a ton going on in Raid this month. They have a new event pretty much every single day, including an entirely new event for the Summer Solstice. This event is called the Path of Light, where you're basically able to explore three different paths and chase down that reward that you want the most. There's also some brand new champions coming out and a whole new set of skins. I really just can't wait to get my hands on all this new stuff. But wait, there's actually more going on. Raid's actually running this super special event called the Deliana Chase event, where you can have the opportunity to get your hands on Deliana, which is a legendary champion from the High Elves faction. All you have to do is log in and play Raid for seven days from now till July 20th, and you'll get Deliana for free. That's literally it, just play the game. Now is literally the best time to start playing Raid. If you check the link in the description down below or scan the QR code here on the page, you'll actually get a bonus pack worth $30. It's available for new players only for the next 30 days. You're not gonna wanna miss that out. It includes a free epic champion, 200,000 silver, one energy refill, and one XP boost, and one ancient shard so you can summon awesome champions as soon as you get in the game. All this treasure will be waiting for you right here. And the gifts just keep on coming. New players, be sure to listen up. When you wanna get in the game, you wanna use the code MYDELIANA to get 50 XP so that as soon as you get your legendary hero Deliana, you can upgrade her straight to max level 50. You also get a ton of silver and other stuff, so be sure to check out the link, use the QR code, and use the code MYDELIANA, and I'll see you in the game. Now, the idea of this series is more just to test all the beginner sets that are out there, because you might be thinking, five discs for 40 bucks, Hunter, I could just get five DX discs. That is exactly what I was thinking. And you know what? You would be 100% right, and let me just go ahead and spoil it for you. That's a better idea, I think. But we're gonna see how these fly. We have the puddle jumper here, Putter actually doesn't feel that bad. Kind of feels similar to like a warden, I would say. I like the stamps. No, I think it's like a DX AVR. No, it's not as sharp on the edge. All right, never mind. DX AVR and a warden had a baby. That's called a puddle jumper. That's true. Fuselage. All right. That feels okay. Beadless rock. Shark, basically. Torque. Fuse. This is going to be way more stable than that, but okay. You think it's going to be more stable than a fuse? I think it's going to be an overstable disc. Jet setter. I mean. Love that. that Let me thing, see, Let me see I, a profile. Yeah, on really that. That's the Borium. That's something. Right. It uh, is a little rounded on the bottom. The lift. Ooh. Discs. It is boring. a little it is, it is a little, a little bit. Rounded. Uh and then the propeller. This feels like a leopard. Yeah. So that's what we have out here. We're gonna flip. Uh Trevor's gonna be heads, I'm gonna be tails, whatever it lands on, we get to pick. We only have one set, so we get to pick um who gets to select the disc first. And then from here on For out one. whoever loses the hole gets to pick first on the next hole. That way if there is a disc that's like OP'd, it doesn't always OP. go to the same person. Oh I peed. Yes. Hey, Suck it, dude. I'm just gonna throw the puddle jumper. Yeah. I'm gonna take it wide out there, let the hillside play. You know, it feels light. I'll be honest with you. I'm. I kind of like the plastic. It feels be fine. straight up with you. I, I kind of like it. it. What would you compare it to? I don't dislike it at all, actually. There's nothing wrong with it. I don't really know. It's kind of almost yeah, yeah. XT-ish. A little bit. Yeah, like yeah. XT and DX, like in between. XT there. and DX had a baby, maybe. Yeah. There's a lot of babies DXT. being had right now. Hey, it's booming <laughs> season. Great. Hit that tree. It's five. 
I mean, you can't see the basket even a little bit. <laughs> well, just camera. imagine, imagine 25 feet past where that disc landed. That's the basket. It didn't right. flip up at all. So all right, let's try happy with that. Here on forehand. Oh Fuselage. Wow, that's a lot Why of faith. Why would you do that? Because it feels fine. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh! I mean, you have to be a crazy person to do that. Call me a crazy person. <laughs> You're a crazy person. <laughs> You're a crazy person. <laughs> Here's the deal. This wasn't intentional, but um, I rolled my wrist really bad on that drive. So I think I made this disc look a lot flippier than it actually is. Can keep that in my back pocket. Might come in useful later. want to start one of these challenges. He's in a very weird mood right now. I don't really know what to do about it. Look, That's he, dangerous. He just waved to an invisible crowd. That was a good throw, though. That was a good throw. All right. To the bird. Get up. Mm, not stinky, good. Stinky, stinky. Just a little something for you. All right, welcome to hole two. It's not my tee, but I do get to pick the disc. I'm going my puddle jumper here, a little trusty putter here. Uh, 183 feet, dead straight ahead, right behind that tree. But there's that's a there. tree. <laughs> it's right behind it. If you get through the tree, you're there. I'm gonna go with the torque. Oh Put yeah. Torque on that thing. Torque it over, man. Oh. oh I actually can handle it. Is that an Dang. Answer? Oh my god! Oh my gosh! Oh my wait, god. wait, Punch Hunter! What the frick? <laughs> it's insane! I saw it in the cage! Are you kidding me? Oh my god! No! Oh my god! <laughs> wait, is it you that gets the Punch Hunter? No, he gets the Punch Hunter. Okay. <laughs> Thank goodness. Oh my, oh my gosh! Why did that tree have to be down? <laughs> We can't even see it! it. <laughs> Start her back to You stay up here, I'm gonna ace it. Alright, cool. This is our first ace of the channel. <laughs> and we couldn't even see it because there was a tree in the way. Oh my god. <laughs> is that just going in your bag now? It might have to. That's my first ace in like... It's been like three years since I've had an ace. <laughs> and that's like a legit ace. You're good! I can't see him at all. <laughs> Chain <laughs> of those woods. Wow, so special. Oh my gosh. Oh my oh gosh. Oh my gosh. I almost went in. You guys got one of those Atlas shirts that says Aced? Because no. Trevor needs one. We don't. We should. Yeah, we actually Available should. Available at atlasdgs.com, but don't tell anyone I promoted it on this channel because, you know. That's. In other news, <laughs> I'm going to take a pretty big, three strokes. It's a pretty big swing right there. I'm down four through two. <laughs> That's all right. I'm just keep getting to pick my disc. Yeah, you just want to yeah, try them. That's yeah, fun. that's a, that's all. All right, gotta interrupt the video real quick. As you may know, we have a goal of reaching 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And since we announced that goal last week, we've already gained over 1,000 subscribers, which is over $50 donated to charity already. Again, if you subscribe, it's five cent a nickel for every subscriber gained from now to the end of the year donated to charity. And every 5,000 subscribers we gain, we're doing a giveaway. The first one's gonna be unlocked at 80,000 subscribers. We've got four discs here, putter, mid, fairway, and distance driver, all at the Foundation Summer Stamp. That's gonna be given away, and the giveaways are only gonna get better and better and better until the grand sweepstakes at 100,000 subscribers. So, if you're not subscribed yet, take a look down there, click subscribe, it means the world to us. Again, we'll be donating a nickel to charity for your subscription, and also helps us get closer and closer to unlocking all these crazy giveaways. Back to the video. All right, hole three, we got a par four, 390 feet. Uh, I'm gonna lay up to the foot of the gap, because then you kinda have to go up and to the right from there. It's pretty tricky. It's pretty tricky even if you lay up correctly, but I'm gonna throw the torque again. Maybe this one go in. Oh. It flies very nice on it's that little. It's very forehand. glidey. It's a little, yeah. It's a little push glide. I like that. All right, time for my jet setter. When I threw it on that little forehand flex line back there, it only went like a hundred feet, so it doesn't really tell me much. But it seemed kind of stable, so I'm gonna just throw it on a hyzer forehand. If it flips up, it turns over. That's fine. I'm okay out there. If it hyzers out, that's fine. I'm okay in there. So it's just a good learning experience with this list. Mm. Okay, that just is kind of sick. 
It didn't really do either of the things I thought it was gonna do. So I forgot the middle option, which is jail. And that's where I am. But the disc was actually kind of sick, somewhat stable. First throw with the uh, propeller as well. The propeller. The propeller. Oh, it flips a lot. Mm. Oh my goodness, it flips a lot. It's got, it's got some flip to it. How's that? It's super flippy, it turned way left. Oh gosh, that wasn't good. All right, we're gonna have to go hero shot here. I don't really have much. I put my puddle jumper in place the jet setter because I thought I was gonna throw it, but I'm not going to. Uh, basket's kind of that way, so it gives me, I can have my foot like here, and then I'm gonna just have to try to hit this little window on Anheuser. Oh. Mm. Well, I mean, there's no other option. That's gonna go. Gosh! I went straight in between my legs. <laughs> that did not, not, that did not make it far. Mmm. Mm. Not gonna like that. Oh, that hurts. It's always, it it's always tough seeing the great ones fall after a moment like that. That's kind of what I was thinking. I'm glad you said it. What did you take on this hole? Nothing yet. What are you putting for? Four. Two. So, so, so what are we talking about? You're falling apart, Trevor. I think. I think it does have a lot of glide. That's good. Mm. Good looking putt. Can you grab that out of the basket for me? Yes. All right, gained a stroke back, still down three. That's not bad. But hey, you gotta start somewhere. I'm gonna go on the jet setter here. Trevor got to pick his disc first, and he picked, he just stepped on it. He originally picked the fuselage. He said he might go propeller. Either way, he doesn't want the jet setter, which is what I want. So that's what I'm going. What is so, a jet setter? You would like to know, wouldn't you? It's a jet okay. setter. Oh, that's oh, gonna be. Too oh, it is. Stable. Gonna... Sorry, I didn't oh. Mind, that got way down there. Yeah, except the fact that you're Is that Hunter's Hades? Is it? I mean, hey, Hunter can I answer mean, that question. I think it'll be more exciting him. if I throw the propeller, so I'm gonna do this for the excitement factor. Nice. I could just try it. My foot went a good foot. That actually it's might bad. roll. No, it's definitely not. No, I, I heard see it. it's something solid. What I'm learning here is this is the best beginner set we've ever thrown, but it's the worst for beginners. Did you just see the disc I threw? Were you watching that? I'm saying, that's the only one I think in here that's really good. We don't know the fuselage quite yet, but I mean the propeller or the, the torque, I mean, fine. stable. But I just threw the jet setter, very stable for a beginner, that is. For a pro, these would all be really flippy. But for someone who's throwing like a hundred feet off the tee, like probably not the best beginner set. But for someone who just wants to have some fun with some friends, this might be the best one we've. we've tried Perfectly yet. doable. That just flies beautifully. I suck at getting up and down from this spot, um, so let's see if I can do it this time. Get up and down for my four. I'd be okay with that. I'm gonna go with the puddle jumper. It's got a little bit of fade to it, I think. Oh, that thing's stable. Just grab, just grab the grass on fine. Okay. Yeah, it's great. I'll take that. Very stable putter. Pretty sick. Over the top. Now. Didn't have nearly enough board to do what I was trying to. Oh, it's freaking center. Freaking later. Oof. My freaking center. Actually, good putt. Excited. Like that's not your putt. So what are you doing? Hole number five is a 336 foot par three. I bet my better judgment, I'm gonna throw the propeller again. Wind out here is wild. <laughs> oh. I have to get this thing actually vertical to get it. Have to. Absolute musk. Elon. Oh, I did it. And it's, look at that. Wow, that thing is flippy. Pretty good. I, the first time I think I've ever managed to actually get a disc out in that angle instead of rolling it over, and it still flew all the way to right. You threw the line perfectly. Pretty cool. Dude, that was fun to watch. these mosquitoes We're gonna suck my blood, bud. Jeez. Jet setter. Jet setter. A lot of discs. Jet setter. So you can handle it? When are they going to come out? Like, Was their 14 speed going to be like the 747? That's Air Force One. It's going to be a Tom Cruise. Ooh. Ooh. That's, right. That's up there. Beat a tree. 
Oh, it's really good now. That's fine. Good job, Hunter. Thanks, man. Excellent, man. Hey, if you ever play out here next time, don't worry, there's not gonna be any mosquitoes left because I've killed don't, all of them. There's no way there's here. more out here. Hunter is committing mosquito genocide right now. Ah! You were incorrect. Yep. Good okay, putt, Trevor. Okay. What did he say about me? He said he's gonna make this one. I can feel it in my loins. Okay, good. I'm glad your loins think about me. Oh my gosh. Hole six. Par four, 366. Hunter took the distance driver, so I'm gonna have to use the uh, fuselage, try and get it I everywhere. I think I might go torque you want the distance driver. Why would you do that? Because the, the, the jet setter is very wet and I can't really get a good grip on it. I haven't got to throw it yet, so I will. Gosh. It's very shallow it's and very wet. It is so good. And it feels like it's just gonna slip right out of my hand. I'm gonna try it anyway. That was a little flat. I mean, but you you, you can see the essence short. of the flight there. Please, I'm short. It does fly nice flat. I got a chance here to get one up there, so I'm going to torque this thing up there. Come on, Hunter. You're Come on, Hunter. On no, 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 no. Just look out for that leaf right there. Yeah. Get over it. Get over it. Oh, yeah. Dad gum, Hunter. Thank you, thank you. Holy crap. Nice shot. All right, you're good. It's a All right, 432 foot par four. <laughs> it curves around to the right down there. Go with the propeller here on a lot of hyzer and a lot of height. Good luck with this shot, by the Thank way. Thank you. This is going to be impressive. Incredible. I really appreciate that, Trevor. If you get this to be useful, I'd be impressed. Oh, that might be it. That is so cool. I think it's too far right, but I think, it's, I think you're in play. That, that was fine. sick. That was a great throw. Thank you. Good job, Hunter. All right, I'm going with the fuselage, trying to get it in play. Oh, kind of died. Absolutely murked a mosquito in the middle that of the This just kind of fell to the ground. That was interesting. I yeah. think I might have given it a little too much nose down. Gosh. Chop. Ow! Right? Gosh! That's a stroke. That counts. That counts. I agree. I completely agree. That means I got a putt to get within one. Oh, man. Dang. Come on. Come on. What a two. I like to let him get close. All right, we're looking at a 306 foot par three. Basket's on the right there. Trevor took the driver, so I got to go something that I know I can work here. I'm going to go with the torque on Anheuser. Hunter, don't you know that you don't throw Anheusers? I'm about to. Wow. It's about, about to be it. darn good. You are good. so brave. You are brave. Watch out for the tree early in the bush. Oh, that's gonna be fantastic. That is absolutely parked. That disc is sick. The little ring around the basket, that was sick. Ow! I gotta the park torque this. is meant for some torque. It's torque good. is like if the buzz and the rock Had were baby. like way better. I freaking squandered my... <laughs> that's not flipping. That might be the road. I think stable. Hunter really got you on hole one. We're going to be tied with one to play. That's exciting. Oh, went for it. You didn't throw it in, Trevor. Sure didn't. That putter is really nice in my hand. I'm not going to lie to you. These guys are pretty sick. <laughs> They're really good, honestly. All right, it's all tied up with one to play. It all comes down to this. 204 feet to decide. The, be the, co the coastline disc golf, beginner pack, starter pack, challenge champion the coastline open all tied up the coastline open six Ow. hours from the coastline uh all tied up baskets in the left position connor's doing his little irish jig getting the skeeters off him I'm dude, going that's to jet racist setter. dude i'm not irish you don't have to be irish to an irish jig i'm just kidding i am irish oh, okay go on my jet setter trevor picked the putter for thank him. you i'm sorry this is the worst filming i've ever done in my life right the now mosquitoes are awful i am getting destroyed by these mosquitoes. Ow. <laughs> All right. Or in. Could you imagine if that went in okay. though? I think that's fine. I never, I suck at this hole, so we'll see. You guys think that's gonna be any good? No? Well, you're not particularly good at this hole. I grip locked it so bad. Gotta throw this in if I wanna win. 
crushed it. Dang, I that thing. think that was a bad decision, Trevor. I'm not gonna lie to you. I wanted to try and win it. Oh gosh. Gosh. That was terrifying. Alright. Well. There you have it. I'm At trying the to clap. Coastline disc golf. Dude, the so Carter Set Challenge, not gonna lie sick. to you. Pretty sick. This is basically a diamond, that's kinda of like a Zeus. Propellers like a rock. If I I'm gonna be honest here, if I were doing a starter pack challenge and you gave me the choice between this set of five and any other starter set that's on the market, I don't know if there's one that's better. Well, I think I'm picking like a Discraft Premium starter set or end of a premium starter set. We also, you have, like a, we also haven't tried the Cats of Plast starter set. Yeah, well, if you okay, okay. baseline, though. baseline, baseline, baseline. I think I'm picking. This. I'd be, I'd be thinking about take, picking these. Value I would take wise, the, over a 150 Leopard ABR I say, Shark, I would take value this. wise because the only thing you're gonna be able to beat value wise with this is like the baseline starter sets, but those and are those 30 a lot of times discs. those are ten dollars a disc. Well, a lot of times they're either like that or they're also like 150 gram DX yeah. Valk. Leopard, Avenger SS. The mids, the putter, and the one, there's only one disc in here that is like a little unusable. Everything else was like stellar. But if you're a true beginner, like you're like, I've never played disc golf, I want to pick something up, don't go here. Yeah. Go like Innova, Discraft, Trilogy, Starter Set. You're going to be a lot more happy. But if you're just like someone looking for a good time, and you know, you and your buddies want to go out and try some weird dish you've never heard of, check these things out. Yeah, the okay, beginner game. friendly, I'm going to go. I'll give it like a four. Four out of ten? No, I, I, I was going give two. It, I would give it a yeah. I would say two or three. I was thinking two because there's only it's pretty. There's it basically pretty the putter you could call beginner friendly. It was pretty stable. The you, propellers beginner you could, friendly. You could throw the this. fuselage would be meh. But even the putters like too none stable. of them are that. None of them are very usable for beginner. Overall throwability out of ten, their baseline got to take some points off. I'm gonna go like a seven point five. But not bad baseline. Yeah. No, it's not bad baseline, but it is still. Baseline. I agree with that. So 7.5 plus three. We're, we're looking I at think, about a five I out of ten. I think you can only find these on eBay. So if you want to try them, that's where you're going to have to look. Yeah. That's the only place I saw them. They're All right. Sick. And we'll have to see if we can make a Trevor Stop signature We're going to have to get a Tra Trevor Stop propeller. Torque. 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 Trevor Stop signature torque. We'll see you in the next one. Too.